Aside from our previous video, there is still some information you need to know about Dwarf Hotted. Taking care of Dwarf Hotted. Caring for a pet Dwarf Hotted is the same as how you care for other breeds. To keep your pet healthy and happy, give it the correct diet, housing, companionship, and take it to a vet for medical treatment and illness prevention. The main food of captive rabbits is hay. Hay is a staple of all rabbit diets, but you may also feed them pellets for rabbits. Commercially prepared food has added vitamins and minerals for improved health. You may add vegetables and fruits for a healthy rabbit diet. Give your pets unlimited fresh water and hay. Hay will keep their digestive tracts healthy and regular. Water should be placed in a heavy shallow dish so that your rabbit can drink from it. A heavy dish is important, so your rabbit won't knock it over inside the cage. You may also place water in an inverted bottle. Your rabbit will just sip water from here. Feed only natural, organic food to protect your rabbit from pesticides, toxins, and herbicides. Give younger rabbits alfalfa hay because this is rich in calcium for growing bones. The adult dwarf hottets will eat legume hay because this helps them with digestion. Dwarf hottets can become a loving, sweet pet, but you need to train it well. Interact with your pet by playing with it daily. Rabbits are social and will need a companion. Experts say that captive bred rabbits thrive well because they have cage mates and their owners to interact with every day. Dwarf hottets are experts when it comes to grooming themselves. Sometimes a rabbit with this type of fur can take hours cleaning itself, taking extra time cleaning under the feet and ears. Rabbits may also be seen grooming each other as social behavior. Mother rabbits may also groom their young by licking their fur and removing dirt and grime. This is done while she's feeding. Dwarf hottets are active during the day and thus will sleep in the evenings. Their feedings must be given in the morning because this is when the rabbits are active and energetic. Captive rabbits sleep 8 hours a day, on average, and usually, these sleep huddled together to keep warm. Supplies and Cages The cage for captive dwarf hottet should be made of wire and must have a strong frame. Don't underestimate the size of a dwarf hottet because it can easily escape if you're not careful. The bottom must have a removable pan or tray where the rabbit's droppings will fall. You can easily maintain this during cleanup time. Also, the floor of the cage must have soft bedding so that it is comfortable for your rabbit to stay on. The good idea is to place a hay feeder on the side of the enclosure. This must always be filled with hay so your rabbit can eat this when they feel hungry. For bedding, use hay or aspen, wood pellets, or other comfortable, easy-to-use bedding material. Clean the cage by first removing your pet slash pets. Hose the cage down and clean it with a safe cleaner or natural cleaning product such as white vinegar, baking soda, or lemon juice. Do not use common household cleaners, which may have toxic ingredients that are dangerous to your rabbit's health. Take note that baby dwarf hottets are born without fur and with their eyes closed. To breed rabbits, have an enclosure for your baby rabbits. Put the babies in a warm enclosure or container to keep their bodies at the best temperatures. A large container or enclosure is nicer and more comfortable than a small one. Place a lot of hay to keep temperatures warm and waterproof. Just like other rabbit breeds, dwarf hottets love chewing on things. If kept indoors, these will chew on anything made of wood, such as walls, fixtures, and furniture. Rabbits are very curious and may even chew on electrical wiring. To avoid accidents, place hay, or chew toys inside the cage. Rabbit proof your home too if you plan to let your rabbits roam free inside your home. Health Concerns Dwarf Hotted is known to be a healthy breed and does not have a specific breed disease. Possibly the most that dwarf hottets may be affected with are pests such as mites, ticks, and fleas because these are pests that are naturally found in their environment. Remove these by applying pest powder or natural pest control oils. Also, remember that captive rabbits are not immune to common rabbit diseases, therefore, you must always be aware of your pet's health and temperament. Any change can be due to an illness. So as early as your pet can walk and leave the nest, take it to the vet for vaccinations and tests. The vet will assess the health and development of your pet. Also, there are rabbits with sensitive digestive systems and thus could be prone to many health conditions of the digestive tract, including enteritis, bloat, and stasis. These may affect rabbits that are around two months old or younger. Also, check for ear or fur parasites such as mites, fleas, and ticks. Usually, rabbits with these pests lack hygiene and live in untidy surroundings and cages. So clean your pet's cage regularly to avoid these menacing pests. You must learn to assess your pet for any signs of illness like lack of appetite, poor energy, nasal and eye discharges, diarrhea, and vomiting. Check for unsteady gait, restlessness, a grating of the teeth, and sleeping for longer hours may be signs of a serious condition. Deworming is also important in dwarf hottets as well as other breeds. This is a major concern with rabbits that are from the wild or are born from wild parents. 
all rabbit breeds should receive proper deworming, and this should be done during the spring and fall seasons. Don't use tablets or liquid deworming medications. Use only a pea-sized amount of deworming paste because this is easier to apply. Just put it in the rabbit's mouth. It will continuously lick it and swallow the formula. You may need to repeat this according to your vet. Also, follow the dose according to the product packaging for the best results. Dental care. A dwarf hotted is known for growing its teeth, and sometimes its teeth can grow very fast. As an owner, make sure that the rabbit's teeth don't overgrow. When this happens, their teeth can grow into their mouths and jaws, which causes terrible pain and will also affect the way they eat. You can help your rabbit by giving it hay as it files down the rabbit's teeth naturally while they chew. Use small pieces of wood, old wooden baskets, or other cage accessories to file the rabbit's teeth. Always keep an eye on your rabbit's dental health, so you can save on expensive medical and dental bills. Grooming Dwarf hottets have short to medium fur, therefore, they will need regular grooming. Brush the fur to keep it clean, shiny, and free from mites and pests. You must groom it using a small brush weekly. You must groom more frequently during their molting period. This is the time when your pet sheds its fur to make way for new fur. Grooming at this time will prevent wool blocks and will prevent the rabbit from ingesting their fur. This can accumulate in the digestive tract causing blockage and more complications. Even if your rabbit is very dirty, never give it a bath because doing so can lead to stress. You may use a damp towel to spot clean your pet and simply wipe the rabbit down with a towel. Use a dry towel to dry it off completely. Another important part of grooming is trimming the rabbit's nails monthly. Also, check its mouth for overgrown teeth. You may ask the vet to do this for you if you don't have the tools to cut its nails or check its mouth. Finally, the rabbit's big ears must be cleaned and checked. Comparable breeds The dwarf hotted is comparable with a few rabbit breeds, and one of these is the Blanc de Hottet rabbit. The dwarf hottet may have Blanc de Hottet's looks, especially the prominent eyes, but the Blanc de Hottet is a large species weighing around 8 to 11 pounds. This rabbit can live up to 10 years and is a commercial rabbit suitable for singles and families with children because of its warm, sweet, and active nature. Another breed that's comparable with the dwarf hottet is the Netherland dwarf rabbit. The two have almost the same size, but the Netherland dwarf is smaller, weighing only 1.1 to 2.5 pounds. This is a hardy breed, though, and can live up to 12 years. It has a compact size and is quiet skittish, but its sweet personality will shine after regular human interaction. The Netherland Dwarf is suitable for singles, families, and seniors. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.